That's a good question, and I thought about it the, the night before this developer day now, whose idea it was actually. But at the end, uh, it was a team idea. Um, we, of course, had the strategic decision first to go this API direction. Um, and once you go this API direction, you come up with an idea having a hackathon or something like that. So that was kind of a natural outcome to this strategy. And we just said, yeah, let's do it. And the team kicked it off. And uh, I'm yeah, absolutely overwhelmed and happy by the today's success. Well, actually, for the first time, a bank is explaining its open API infrastructure to a third party group of people who can now develop and against this API infrastructure and use it for their own purposes in order to make this bank their bank. I think this is a this is a revolution. This is really kind of a revolution which we are witnessing here today um, and, and this is why I'm so motivated. An API makes it in particular easy for the outside partner to use and leverage the services and offer and even the banking license uh, which Fido Group is actually providing. An API by itself, well, me not being a technician as well, but at the end it's a very limited kind of access or demand you request to our operating system and you get the information out of this. Uh, it can be uh, installed very, very easily. So you can focus on your core idea, which is maybe a PFM module or which is maybe a crowd finance. Uh, you use the API description and you can kick it off actually. Technically, it's as easy as that. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Um, it's not all barbarians. <laughs> Shocking. Um, no, I'm, I'm in particular proud that people came from San Francisco. I'm in particular proud that people came from Moscow. So we cover half of the globe actually today within this group, a very entrepreneurial group of, of yeah, people from all kinds of hemispheres and, and environments and cultural backgrounds. And this even makes it even more interesting. On the other side, it shows how yeah, internationally demanded or discussed such an issue is because we only did, I think, a um, website of Pirates of Banking. We distributed it via social media and three days after it was fully booked. That's it. Well, Pirates of Banking clearly was the idea of the team, which is not to me an excuse, but I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, I think the team did a very good decision on it. And, and it, it means something like, you know, we are, we are trying to take over uh, the flood tiles, which are moving slowly through the vortex and are not willing to change or maybe, um, you know, so we are taking over, we are like living in this tradition of, of freedom, of, of doing revolutionary stuff, a little bit of course romantic and not coming uh, along with real history, but uh, it, should, it should emphasize that there is something really different now happening. If you, if you open your eyes and walk with open eyes through the world of today, uh, if you use your tech devices and by using you think, does this affect me as a bank when I'm now using my smartphone or what can I learn out of the smartphone model or what is the model um, and how can I transport this into banking, you come up with something like that because this is obviously uh, the area and environment where we learned this kind of thinking from. Um, having an operating system like iOS, like Android or others, having third-party developers who deploy their apps into this environment of operating system. And yes, by accident, it's an iPhone. Oh, yes, by accident, it's a Samsung or whatever. Or it's an iPad. I don't care about the, uh, actually about the device itself. We think that the operating system itself is creating the stickiness. And we think the operating system itself is creating the openness to the outside world. So just go there, look at what you're using day by day, take the lesson you're learning or at least understand what is the lesson I'm just learning by using this device and transport this into banking. Um, having a future outlook to this, I think that this API philosophy, which we are today introducing for the first time to a public audience, um, will give us a boost which is today not to be described. I think we will be a very international company within two years um, with a steep increase of in all uh, relevant KPIs.